Yo, what's up everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. So glad you guys are here. Welcome in. Welcome back. As always, I appreciate all of you, ladies and gentlemen. You folks are making me so, so happy. You are watching these videos. You are adding your perspectives. You are letting me know uh, more information about these soaps. I'm beginning to get to know you folks. Um, this is a true community and it is becoming a family for me, to be honest. And so I really appreciate all of you for being here. If you're not subscribed or if you're, this is your first time here, I encourage you to join the family. Um, you don't have to, of course, um, it is not required, but as always, you know, always want to feel like, uh, we are uh, part of a community or part of a family. So I invite you to join us. Uh, today we're going to be doing a review on another Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements offering and it's called Big Shave East. So this is obviously a soap in honor of one of the big meetups, the Big Shave, that happened in Fort Lauderdale, as you can see by the, the um, label. So I have no um, insight, I have no... Um, information that I can give you about Big Shave East. Um, I'm obviously new in this hobby and I'm beginning to document soaps um, for the community and for those that are coming into the community. Um, so if you are aware or even if you attended Big Shave East, I encourage you to leave comments um, on this video and um, yeah, it would be kind of cool to learn more about it if you've been there. So as always, I appreciate your guys' impact and uh, input um, on these videos. So Let's get cracking. Let's take a look at the soap first. So here we have, it looks like a gentleman with a DE razor in his hand. Really with the palm trees in the background and you've got the sun and the kind of warm, sunny Florida sky with some blue. I really like the colors. It's very retro. It's very... Um, what comes to mind is brands like Billabong and Quicksilver. Um, it is um, really old school retro colors. Um, the lines are pretty cool. Uh, I just really, and even the colors itself, they're not primary colors in a sense of like straight yellow or red or whatever. These are different shades, which are very well done. Um, nice color coordination going on here. So yeah. Fort Lauderdale in Florida. So we have frangipani, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, tobacco and apricot. Very cool. This has a side label, which is really awesome. Looks like this is in their Crown King formula, CK1, which is a very good uh, vegan base. Um, so so ck6 is their premium uh base but this is actually a really good base also you'll see more uh, videos from me on ck1 this is a see-through tub which is not normal for um a ck6 tub but it is for a crown king tub let's go ahead and let's open it up let's take a look oh ho, ho. yo I see you. Look at that ridge. Look at that. Look at that topography, folks. Look at that. Look at that peak. How it was made. It didn't even touch the top of the lid. Unbelievable. This is the kind of stuff. It's so um, trivial, or maybe not even like worth talking about. But it 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 it, it, blah, blah, blah. it excites me. Um, look at that beautiful peak. Wow. Look at the color. Really, really nice color. It looks really luscious, doesn't it, folks? Looks like a beautiful cloud. Let's do our first smell. Oh, boy. This is, smells so good. So, yeah, definitely pick up the, the apricot. I do pick up the tobacco plant. Um, I don't know what frangipani is or um, frangipani or, you know, 
I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I don't know what that smells like. But this has a um, obviously a citrus. It's a sweet, uh, somewhat tangy, a little bit tangy. It's a nice scent with tobacco plant, uh, tobacco flower. Um, I would say tobacco flower for sure. Look at that peak, guys. It just blows me away. Anyway, it's a nice, beautiful scent. Scent strength on this is, I would say, a five. So it's not strongly scented, but it's right there in the medium. Right there in the middle. Yeah, it's a nice scent. All right, let's go ahead. Let's read. So it says here, um, this, I assure you, will be your new summer scent. If you were there, you know. If you weren't there, you should have been. This June 30th gave us another big shave event, folks. And man, what an event this was. Year four and the first time on the East Coast. Epic. The one, the, oh, sorry. The thing with an epic event is it needs an epic soap and splash to really tie the room together. So with that in mind, we gave, we give you the official Big Shave Soap and Splash Bundle. Frangipani, which is Plumeria. Interesting. Plumeria is such a beautiful, I would have never thought Plumeria. I mean, it has a floral. Maybe that's what I thought. The It was like a floral. Um, the apricot and the plumeria kind of merged together in a sense. Like they have very similar smells. That's what threw me off. Um, so plumeria, tobacco, and apricot. He writes, this, my friends, is pure shave awesomeness and truly something special. Strong, tenacious, and masculine. All will really enjoy this one. Also, for those looking for the whole enchilada, we did an EDP for this truly special event uh, and special scent. Almost as epic as the event that inspired it. Wow. So this definitely um, masculine. I, I don't think it's masculine, to be honest. Like, it's not feminine, but I wouldn't consider this a masculine scent. I would consider this a fresh floral fruity um but not feminine at all um and maybe that's what he meant by masculine um is that it's not a feminine um, scent i mean it could be used by both but this you know i would not think this as as a, a feminine soap at all this is really good i like this scent this is actually really nice uh let's go ahead and take a look at the aftershave splash here So it's pretty standard. I got some Hideon in there. Very clear. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's give this a good shake and let's open this up. Ooh, looks like we do not have an orifice reducer, which is right up my alley. I have nothing against the orifice reducer. It's actually one of the better orifice reducers out there. Uh, it's not the best, but it's kind of on the better side. I actually prefer no um, orifice reducer. I mean, do you use more? Yes, but you still can control this. You know, some people, like, they just pour out like that, you know, um, and then it gets all over and they, they don't like it. But what people don't, or what people don't realize or um, what I do is I just put it like this and then I just pour so I have it against here and it just pours right into the ridge and then I just pour out what I need. It doesn't spill anywhere. Um, that's why I like the orifice reducer because actually I can control um, the, the flow and how much. With the orifice reducer, you're reduced to the actual, there's only so much it'll put out. Now, the, the more you shake, the more liquid you get. But with this, you could tilt a lot and get more tilt less and it's quick and fast and easy I, and that's what i love about the no orifice reducer that is just my my take but again i don't complain i use both so oh we didn't even smell it <laughs> sorry mm. i would say this has more of the tobacco
yeah, this is more of the tobacco scent and a little bit more the apricot. So this has a little bit more floral note to it, but it's when you smell this, you would not say, oh, this is a floral. Like it has some floral notes to it, but not it's not like screaming floral. You, you have the fruity and the tobacco kind of mixed in. So it's a really nice combination. This one has more of the tobacco flower um, per se when it comes to the scent with some little bit of that fruit from the apricot. Don't really pick up any of the floral from the plumeria. Um, but yeah. Man, I don't know what year this was, um, but obviously um, it was the fourth, uh, year four of their big shave meetups. And so I would have to imagine it was, you know, 2018, 19, 20, somewhere on there. But anyway, again, as always, if you folks went there or have more information, would love to hear and read about it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Big Shave East. That was in Fort Lauderdale in Florida. And it's a beautiful Plumeria tobacco apricot scent. As always, I appreciate you folks for being here. Hope you guys enjoyed. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Make sure you take care of each other out there. Smile and say hi. And they say hi back and be like, oh, hi. And oh. <laughs> I'm having fun today. As always, thanks for being here. Peace.